Hi, today I will show you how to create this gradient overlay and use it on any other image you want. Let's go. Hi and welcome. This is again Rick from Digifish Creative, helping you create better designs and better images. If you're new to this channel and you want to see more of those videos, please subscribe down below. And uh, welcome again. Uh, today I've got a very short video for you uh, where I will show you how to create a gradient overlay and export it and then use it on any other image you want. Uh, let's get started right away so that I don't waste your time, right? Okay, I will first create a gradient layer. I will then go to the gradient uh, adjustments. I will bring the opacity back to 100%. Then I will start adding my colors, my different colors using the sliders. I will add some kind of red. Okay, let me, let's make it a little bit more reddish, okay. I will add a second one. Okay, and for this I will choose a purple okay i will add another one this time we will go towards the blues um, i think it's okay i will add another one this time the green one okay and then i will just adjust the last one to create a yellow one okay then i will just adjust the spacing between those two uh, those sliders to make it kind of look the way I want. Just review the red a little bit and bring it to orange, just like this. Then I will uh, click OK. I will change the angle to a minus number, around 170, and uh, leave everything the way they are and press OK. Now I will change the blending mode to something like soft light. I will now export uh, my gradient. I will deactivate the feasibility of this layer, of the background layer. Go to File, Export As. Okay. I will select PNG file. It's important to select PNG. Export. I will select the place, uh, the, the location where I want to save the file. Give it a name. I will call my uh, gradient overlay. Okay, click save. Okay, now I will open my new image, another image, and the gradient overlay also. I will convert this gradient overlay to smart object. Copy and bring it over the image I want to place it on. Then I can adjust it, command T, and transform it. Adjust it the way I want so that I can fit the new image okay just like this and then change the blending mode to soft light and bang i've got my new image with my new gradient overlay isn't that cool now if you want more uh, some more primitive gradients i've got a gradient pack which i created and it includes lots of gradients you can check it out on my Gumboard account, link in the description. You can download it, check it out, and uh, have fun with it. I also included a video explaining how to use the gradient overlays. Well, that was again all for today. I know it was a very, very short uh, tutorial today, and I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit that like button and share the video so that others can learn from it. And before I go, if you haven't yet got the chance to download my free ebook, which I'm giving away right now, you can download it, link in the description. You will have it free and learn lots of cool stuffs on colors. Okay, until next time, it's a bye-bye from me. See you next time.